What's good, everybody? It is your boy, the Super Triple JET here, and it's already been a little bit since Resident Evil 4 Remake has came out, and it teased at the end the plot of Resident Evil 5 by showing Africa on the map of Wesker's computer, seeing Excella, and it's kind of obvious by now that there will be a Resident Evil 5 remake. I mean, why the hell not? Every other remake has been successful with various degrees of ratings, but still, a lot of people have been enjoying this remake train, and they are wondering if Resident Evil 5 is going to get a remake, and I feel like it is, especially because we finally got a brand new Wesker voice actor, and personally, I really like how he sounds, and I'll be very excited to see him in a future game especially Resident Evil 5 but the real question is how is Resident Evil 5 gonna get remade what are they gonna do differently from the original will they try to do something different to please the fans let's talk about it real quick so Resident Evil 5 used to be the most successful Capcom game of all time until Monster Hunter World dropped and then Resident Evil 7 and everything in between. So yes, Resident Evil 5 is an extremely popular game and a lot of fans of Resident Evil are not really a big fan of this game, mostly because they take away a lot of the horror aspects that were shown in previous titles. But... A lot of non-Resident Evil fans love this game, saying this is one of the best third-person shooters in the game, blah, blah, blah. And it's going to be kind of hard to remake this game, obviously. So what I'm kind of thinking is, what is the most logical route for Resident Evil 5 to take? Should they go more horror or should they go more action-based? First, let me talk about the problems I have with Resident Evil 5 because everybody knows me knows that this is my least favorite Resident Evil game and there's a lot of reasons why. Personally, I do not like Chris in this game and I think this is probably the worst Chris we've ever seen in a video game. Sheva as a character is just non-existent whatsoever. Why the heck did they kill off Jill in the beginning of the game, introduce this mysterious hooded woman, and us not believing that's not Jill? Like, let's be honest, that was awful. We all knew that girl was Jill. Well, maybe not me, because I was very, very young when this game came out. The way they changed Wesker's character is damn near ridiculous. Plus, there are multiple story issues that the game have that I would love for Capcom to fix. The question is going to be how are they going to remake this game because at the end of the day, this is an action game. And if they go back to the roots, this is going to be a significantly different game that a lot of newer RE fans or at least fans that were big fans of RE5 and 6 are going to be highly against, especially because a lot of people have a lot of fond memories with Resident Evil 6. So how are they going to do it? And personally... I don't know if they're going to find a middle ground, maybe add more horror elements in the story because they didn't do that with Resident Evil 4 Remake. So most likely they're going to probably be very faithful to the original game. Same action stuff, co-op, all this other stuff, which I won't be against 100%, but I will say I do not like the route it's going. I would love to have a co-op. That's perfectly fine. Co-op is pretty good for horror games, and I really would love to see RE5 be a horror game. Change everything. Change all the stupid stuff they put in the game. Remove all the Western action stuff that they were inspired by at the time. Take away all that. We don't need all that. Start fresh. Start new. Honestly, I would just want them to 100% start from scratch. Like, we don't need any sources. We just keep the synopsis of the story, and that's it, nothing else, because like I stated earlier, Resident Evil 5 is my least favorite game, has a lot of problems, and I am not against just starting fresh. Don't let Chris have this mindset of letting the world get blown up because of Jill. Um, make sure Sheva has an actual good backstory. There's going to be a lot of people that haven't even played RE5, so make it a big deal when they mention that Jill is dead in the beginning of the story. Don't make it like some throwaway line and Chris is like, yo, I have a feeling she's there. Don't do that. That's awful, right? We don't, we don't need none of that. We are good. Make Lost in Nightmares a big part of the main story. There's so many things they could do to fix Resident Evil 5, and I will be 100% down for all of it. No matter what happens, whatever I'm saying, whatever you think I'm saying, I just know for sure from the bottom of my heart, this could be jinxing it because I've been very wrong multiple times in my lifetime. But I will say this, that RE5 Remake will be a thousand times better 
than the original RE5. I promise you that. Because RE5 is really in the bottom of the barrel. Like, for real. But, but tell me in the comments down below, how y'all feel? Do y'all still want an RE5 remake or not? I'd really like to know. Tell me in the comments down below. Thank you for watching. Please subscribe. I am out. Deuces.